most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. All right, Brad, we're, it's no secret out there, we're big McKenzie fans, aren't right. we? Robin right. Robin McKenzie, mm -hmm. uh, he came up with some treatments for the spine, neck, back, and uh, he actually does the extremities now, too. Exactly, arms and legs. But when we have somebody with neck pain or with a pinched nerve, the pinched nerve causing pain down the arm, yep. this is probably our, it is our number one go-to approach. Sure. Wouldn't you agree? Yep, I would Absolutely. Say. So, Today we're going to go over some of the basics of the McKenzie approach, but you know we recommend that if, if you get stuck and, you, and you're not getting better, that you may want to go ahead and seek out a McKenzie therapist, and I'll put that video on the end of this one on how to find one. Right, and they're worldwide. So, yeah, they're worldwide, exactly. What we decide, 36, 38 countries, something like right. that. So mm -hmm. definitely a lot of them in the United States. Right. But so, so basically what we're trying to do, Brad, is uh, we're trying to, if you're dealing with a pinched nerve or neck pain, a lot of times you're getting pain. Does that show up, Lonnie? I know this looks like an alien, but you, uh, you got really good artwork, Bob. Yeah, you're getting better. <laughs> yeah. Now this is the back of the person. That's why you don't right. see uh, the face on there. Exactly. And and this is a, a common pain patterns. You might have it going down into the shoulder, down into the back of the arm, down into the arm itself, and even into the hand. Uh, and that includes numbness and tingling. Uh, yep, yeah, that's very common. Yep. And you also might have it in the shoulder blade. Exactly. As a matter of fact, we just had a viewer ask about this, and this would be a good one for yeah. him to watch. So the big thing about this with the, the McKenzie exercise, what you're trying to do is to get the pain to what we call centralize. Mm -hmm. You want it to come out of the extremities and go into more of the base of the neck. Right. And you want to go from the distal to the proximal. Right. So we're using some therapy where it's your... So the extremity is the arm, and we want to get it from the most farthest way, would be the fingertips if it went that far, and have it come back, just like a thermometer going backwards, you know, that's how I always good, tell good my analogy. Page. And But what we really don't want to see is that it actually goes away here and gets worse in the arms, right. I mean, and the fingers. That's no good. Yeah. So the exercise, what you're looking for when you do the exercise is that this may start to go away in the first, you know. Here, let me help you, Bob. And then eventually it goes out of the arm. I know I'm not doing this perfect here. And then maybe it goes out of the shoulder blade. And eventually it just, you know, it's stuck right here. And eventually then it'll go away. It could even get a little more intense in this area, couldn't you say, Brad? Right, but it's, it's usually not that intense where you can't take it. It's just right. more intense. And we call, that's the center right there, the low part of the neck. Right. So... Having right about where that, that collar is. All right, these are the, uh, well, the first thing you need to do, Brad, is you, you have to make sure you correct your posture. Mm -hmm. If you're working and you're like this all day long. Yeah, working you know, on a computer. I don't care how many times you do these exercises, it's not going to help because you're right. going to go right back to that. You know, so you need to make sure you're getting your ears lined up with the shoulders, mm -hmm. shoulders lined up with yeah. the hips, you know, that type of yeah. thing. So, and this first exercise helps you a little bit with that. So the first exercise we're doing is neck retractions. That's exercise number one. So basically you're taking your chin. Your chin tuck. Yeah, chin tucks. So you're going back. We've showed this one many times. Yep. We talk about like a pie in the face. I thought um, you wanted me to do a high five, Bob. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. So it's, yeah. something's coming like that pie, you just say, whoa, you back up. You know, an option for this, if this doesn't work or it makes a little problem, you can. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You can do it laying down. As a matter of fact, I just gave this information to one of our viewers last night when I was responding, and he said it hurt when he was doing the chin tucks in the seated position. Well, make sure you try it in a position like this. So now the back of your head does sometimes, contact. Sometimes, Brad, I even use a, uh, a little towel like sure, this, and yep. it makes it easier than the chin tuck. Mm -hmm. And that position, the change in position, the weight bearing changes the mechanics slightly. And you may have yeah, success. Yeah, not so much chin down, you have chin back, yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I like it better like this, but you could certainly use yeah, something in there. E even your hand if you don't have a towel yeah. roll. So if you try if you try the exercise sitting up and it's 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 painful, maybe try laying down. Right. And that's gonna be the same for exercise number two, Brad. Which a is an important point is Bob, the first time or two, it may not help. But if by the third time, if you start to feel some changes, some of that thing's feeling better, then you're going to go repetitions up to 10. So you need some repetitions in there, but usually not more than and, 10. And that's a good point, Brad, because actually it may hurt a little more even at first for the first couple of reps. Yeah. 
but it should start getting back to normal. Yep. You know, very rapidly, and then eventually it should start feeling better. Right. If you so, get to seven or eight and it's not improving and things are actually getting worse in yeah, the arm, yeah, stop. You need, you need to see a therapist then. Right. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just no, no, no way about it. So, right. All right, next one we're going to do is, is actually we're going to do extensions. But what, again, what's good about the chin tucks is getting you in good posture. Mm -hmm. The next one, I'd like you to find a chair with a nice solid back like this. And you're gonna, you know, a lot of times you do a couple of chin tucks to warm up a little bit, yep. and then you're gonna go ahead and work on going back. Now, you can go back to the point where it starts to really hurt, then back off. Right. You know, you can work halfway, go back, and then eventually you wanna, the, the, the thing with the key with all these is to really get back as far as you can. As long as it's making it better. Right, as long as it's making the symptoms down your arm or in your back or in your neck better. Right, centralization is occurring on it's, it's right. getting out of there. You want to show the towel, Brad? Right, a lot of times I'll have people and my patients, they'll, they'll start doing that. The chin tuck is, is doing good, and then they'll get back to here, and, oh, and they can't really do it. So I'll have them take a towel roll, put it here, and with that little bit of support, not pulling hard, but just a little bit of support, and then all of a sudden, oh yeah, that feels better. And then they can go back, and then you can help pull your head up too a little sure. bit. So in the initial phases, that towel roll can really be helpful. I do it a little different. I use the edge of the towel oh, yeah. quite often. Yep. I'll use. I, I like, was taught this way too, and then I. I, I just, like the uh, edge on the towel. There's a name for that edge, but I can't remember it. Yeah, <laughs> I think there is. And I, I like to bring it up actually towards the yeah. eyes like this, and then I bring the arms go along with the neck like this. Yeah, I learned that. We, then we learned that in Mulligan class. Could be, yeah. Uh, and then you can go different levels. You can go a little bit lower, sure, a little bit lower, and, and see how it works with that. Now again, Brad kind of alluded to this, but with all these, you're going to do the exercise ten times, mm -hmm. and you can do it five to six times a day. I actually tell my patients to do it every hour. Sure. And yep. the reason I tell them to do it every hour because I know they won't. I mean, they, they just, nobody can do it everything every hour. It's just they get busy. But they end up doing it five to six times a day. Yep. Then. So yep. that's a good start. Same thing with this one. If this is just too tender, not working, you can do this off the edge of the bed. Right. You, can, you can go off Whoa, the edge that, like this. Wow. And you can take your hand like this and you can just lower yourself like that. This is the one where I really do like to use the towel, the whole towel. Oh, yeah, that would work too. It's a little more control. Yeah, more control. Mm -hmm. Again, we can't emphasize this enough. You're only going to do these if they improve and if they're improving the pain. And and they're going to prove it by the tenth one. You should feel clearly better than the first one. Right. Certainly not worse. Right. I mean, it, maybe it'll stabilize. Maybe it's going to take a little bit. But um, yeah, you'd like to see something improving in the hand. Or if it doesn't go all the way to the hand, it's just it's not going into the shoulder as much. Yeah. If if you can eliminate the symptoms of tingling and stuff from here to here, and this is gone. Well, that's good yeah, progress. Eighty percent of the people get better with this. That's yep. that, that you know, eighty percent of the people. All right, the third exercise. This is the one that helped me, Brad. Um, so let's say you're having pain on the right side. You're actually going to do first. You're going to get into a, kind of a good position, good posture, and you're actually going to side bend towards the side. Towards the side of the uh, towards the side of the pain. Yep. yep. So chin tuck toward the side of the pain. And, and again, we should say symptoms technically because. Sometimes it's numbness right. and tingling, but so we want to include everything with yeah, this. Yeah, the numbness and tingling might get better. I had a dentist that, that did this one, mm -hmm. worked beautifully. I mean, it, this didn't work, this didn't work, went to this, and it went right away. And he had it all the way into those hands. Did you get some free dental work? No, I didn't, as no, you can tell. No, the old barter system yeah. didn't go. <laughs> so that one works out really good. Again, with all these, there's a lot of different things that can be tried by a therapist that works with you and that's been trained in this. Right. I mean, it's actually a, it's a four-day course just for the back or five-day course for the There's back. There's a four for the low back, three, I think, for the neck. We've took it, it's been a few years. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it, there's a lot of different things that can be tried. So if you're not having any luck, I would ch seek a McKenzie therapist out. Exactly. Again, you won't be disappointed. This is your best chance of getting things resolved without surgery right without you know being heavily medicated all the time exactly so yep. the whole concept is how to learn how to treat yourself so watch the videos at the end if you're having trouble with your low back i'll put that one on the end too over there well i don't know it'll be somewhere okay all right thanks <laughs> take care